Tuesday, November 17, 2020, the Member of Parliament for Constituency 003 in Akailaun District, Honorable Indul Moy Wugevao, been appear before the Committee on Ethics and Privileges in the Saloon Parliament, just like any ordinary person, where they go to Parliament before MP them for answer to question them for some to not go on well. Honorable Givao appear before this committee for answer to question them as to why he been talk in one interview na BBC. This being them say them as MP them na the salon parliament corrupt. Honorable Givao, sometimes ago it was alleged that uh, you did air over BBC that uh, parliament is corrupt. Is that correct? Now, Parliament is correct. What is your take on this? Yes, I gave an interview to that effect. But then uh, the Parliament seems to be offended, and even those that listen to that broadcast were also offended. Consequently, Punishments we have to be labeled on you, but before that one you need to be investigated whether actually you said so, whether you meant it, or whether you just say that out of joke. So what is your take? Um I had appeared before this committee hitherto and I had said I implore the committee to resolve this matter because my statement was not meant to target any individual parliamentarian or to bring the institution of parliament to which I myself belong down or to create any negativity in the minds of the public against parliament. So if I had said that statement and that statement has actually angered parliament, that is why I had come before this committee to say, yes, I can deny the fact that I did not make the statement, I did make the statement, but I want this committee to resolve this matter so that the work of parliament can forge ahead. But inside this hearing by the ethics committee, it sounds like say, then get something where them want for make honorable give out talk, where it's still a dead foot for talk as the session being continued. That's very good. But then uh, in your statement, you did say that uh, after you have made that uh, broadcast over BBC, it did anger some people, not so? the parliamentarians and even some of those people that heard you over BBC. Now, how are we going to resolve it without first of all arriving at the truth? In as much as we want to resolve it, and parliament is agreed, Everybody is annoyed, but we cannot uh, come to the end of this matter without showing us any evidence of what you said. Yeah, because you said it, and people were asking you, you said you stand by your word. Am I wrong? I have said I made the interview. And I came before this committee, and yes, I did not provide or produce any evidence. Yeah. Well, well how can we convince the others now or to end the matter? We cannot easily convince them without any evidence or proof. Okay. After this, Honorable Gevao finally give up and beg pardon to incumbent MP them for sorry for him for waiting a been talk, but with this strong statement. I did not allege the allegation, if you really like you listen, the allegation 
was there. I am not the one who alleged that parliament was corrupt. If you listen to the interview, the interviewer had prefaced his interview on an allegation, and I learned my own personal voice. So for that comment that I commented on the allegation is what I am pleading with the committee for to um, have it resolved amicably, and that for that comment I made, I am profusely sorry. <laughs> From the time we honorable give out, talk na the BBC, say MP them na the Salon Parliament corrupt. The leadership na the Salon Parliament don't punish honorable give out. Different way them. One, the leadership been forced to sack honorable give out as chairman for the legislative committee na Parliament. When a one of the big and most important committee them. Two, the Speaker of Parliament not only give Honorable Gevao a chance for talk na the well of Parliament from the time where he give this interview to the BBC and the Speaker of Parliament don't send Honorable Gevao go na the back bench from the middle bench where Honorable Gevao been the Sidom. This na the same Honorable Gevao where be non swear say God go punish the one them we don't tie bargain for punish him for where he talk to say Parliament corrupt for all of those who are conspiring to make me sad on this occasion for speaking the truth the god i serve will punish them and their generation but mark my word if the nation calls Sierra Leone, a nation that is seized of everything that is happening in parliament that i spoke of fail to come to my aid and stand in my defense and allow me to be punished for speaking the truth agony will befall the nation i call Sierra Leone. other question they will come to mind now if really the leadership of the Salon Parliament for accept Honorable Gevao in apology and give him back all the facility them as MP, or he just thinks eh, the leadership of the Salon Parliament just want to show Honorable Gevao, say that board where the interest na farm, not for talk boku, but in all this, how the notion of freedom of expression go all water Salon Democracy for Salon Parliament I on Bla TV online. Mina Abdullah Bla.